We're graduating tomorrow, dog. Aren't you excited? Yeah, dude, it's just crazy to think we made it to this point. Like, everything seemed to go by in a flash. It just feels like yesterday we were a little freshman. Really, fool? Damn. Maybe it's just me, but I think high school's gone by hella slow. I couldn't be happier that this is finally over, man. You're not gonna miss that at all? Nah, son. I can't wait till we get out of here. I've had senioritis since sophomore year. You sure it wasn't since freshman year? <laughs> Probably. It's just insane, like, tomorrow's basically the end. That diploma is like our ticket to the real world. Destroy whatever youth we have left. Yo, Dylan, there's no need to get all sentimental on this. <laughs> You've always been the emotional one, man. Yeah, dude, ever since we met, he's been that way. Four years and he hasn't changed one bit. I'll change, all right. I've changed quite a bit. Damn it, Dylan. You always say the right things to make everything awkward. What's your problem? Shut up, man, shut up, dude. Hey, it's two in the morning. I told my mom I'd be home for four hours ago. I gotta go. My parents didn't even call. It's that UCLA acceptance for sure. <laughs> You're probably right. Anyway, you're screwed, dog. Your mom's gonna kill you. Nah, dude, my mom just probably fell asleep. She don't even know if I'm gone. Let's go. Where did these four years go? It passed by like the first bars of sudden music. The end has come, and well, there are way too many emotions. The hard work for many has paid off. The effort was well worth it. Those college acceptance letters thank you for the long hours of studying and falling asleep on books. Many wish they can go back in time and maybe put in that extra effort. Then there are those who don't regret anything, believing that everything was meant to be. Or maybe they didn't work up to their potential. I just didn't have the motivation to do what they could have done. So many emotions. So little time. And nothing you can do about it. My best friends in high school have really shaped this four year experience. They played a part in the most cherished memories and people I hope to never forget. But I want to mention two in particular. Let's start with Chester. We met when he asked me to help him on a really easy math problem. It wasn't a very good first impression, but it's all good. But man, talk about a student who doesn't work hard. The only A's he ever got were probably when he was a teacher's aide, and I don't even know if they give out letter grades for those. I remember one time, he told me school was pointless. The education was a waste of time. Dog, school's so stupid, man. They don't teach you anything that you want to learn. They teach you all this stuff, it's just, you don't even need to learn this. But they teach to you. You know what I'm saying? I guess, man, but I don't know. It seems like there's a point to everything. Like, they wouldn't just be teaching us stuff for no reason. You know what I mean? I mean, I guess school's not for everyone, but I don't know. For some people it is. I think what really started this friendship was our common interest in hip hop. We liked the same artists and nodded our heads to the same songs. The thing that separates me from him, though, is the fact that he can also rap. I try to be like him, but his flow is just too much. 
shit just to relive the moment. But when I face the drama, I'm known to cover my head in fear of strong opponents. Forget it, I seem to own it. Excuse me if I'm quoted, but love is blind. So when I find the one, how do I show it? It's trippy, but I'm a fool. Too much. That, that's all I got. Interesting. Dude, that was. That was so dope, dude. I wish I could do that. Like, that was. That was good, dude. That was good. And boy, can he write. He writes songs easier than he can probably write the freaking alphabet. It's the fantastic fabrics of his mind. He's one of the smartest guys I know. But I think the best thing about Chester is the fact that he's so brutally honest. I know he'll always tell me the harsh reality of things. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Sometimes, it hurts. But what can I say? Everybody needs those kinds of friends. The type of people who will knock you down and force you to get back up yourself. That's Chester. He'll always be one of my greatest friends. At least I hope so. Now let me introduce Troy. He's too smart for me and well, everyone else. And the funny thing is, we met after I told him that he's smart. This dude has never gotten a single B in his life. And that's a big deal because he's one of my friends. But think about this. We're all hanging out and boom, he's home studying. We're sleeping in class and man, he's working his butt off. I watch this man with such an admiration because it seems like he has a non-stop motive. He's the type of guy that everyone wants to sit next to in class because they'll either cheat off him or simply feel smarter sitting next to him. One thing that we all know of Troy is his talent in basketball. He shoots lights out and his handles are top notch. He's the type of guy everyone wants on his team. Also, he has a freaking girlfriend. Her name is Chelsea, and they've been going out for a while now. I can tell they're really happy together. I'm not going to lie, I get jealous of Troy sometimes. But not only because he's a great guy, but because he's such a perfect child. My parents would kill to have someone like that. He's also the nicest guy I know. He laughs at my jokes. He's something else. High school love? The closest thing I ever got to was this girl named Cece. Boy, was she pretty. We met when Troy introduced us. I'm assuming they were close friends. She was single, I was single, and he wanted to hook us up. I think Troy did this because he realized that I've never had a girl in high school, and he figured it would be a good experience for me, being my last year and all. We talked and I tried to be funny, tried to impress her. And I guess I did because she wanted to hang out. And honestly, I wanted to as well. I don't know if it was a crush or just a great opportunity. I got a number and there it was. My shot at high school romance. And you stick like a poster on my wall As if you don't want to move She laughed at my jokes That's good I, I thought it was great no money in my pocket Nobody to rock with by you But you know me, I don't sing that well Somehow we managed to get through she just kept smiling and laughing, and I did the same. I guess it started off well, but she wanted to continue seeing me. No doubt I started liking her. And it seemed like she started liking me too. Dude, Troy. Man, I really, really think I like Cece a lot. Like, 
I think it's getting that point. That's good, man. I'm really happy for you. I'm glad it worked out. Oh, me too. Mm-hmm. Oh. Man, you had a girl in like ever. That more point to have it now? Senior year. Whatever, dude. You know what? Hey, I'm happy. Thank you. Hey, that's, see, that's all I wanted. I'm happy for you. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. I even took her out to the view. Where the city lights shine brightly and illuminated our infatuation. The type of place you only take that special someone. I knew it was time. Alright, look, CC. I don't really know how to say this, but I really like you. Oh, Dylan. That's so cute. That was so cute? I guess it foreshadowed what was about to happen. What's wrong, Dylan? Wait, what happened to him? I don't know. Why would she do that to me? I still don't know. No surprises with that kid Jamal. What a jerk. He's known as Mr. Still Your Girl. Now how can I be such a fool that I was let on like that? The feelings weren't the same. It's that simple. So much for high school romance. Get over it, dog. There's more women out there for you. She's not worth it. You're too good for her, dude. It's not that easy, dude. Did you get that bracelet? Oh, Cece gave you that, huh? For what? Yeah? Why would you do that, man? It's messed up. At least don't worry, man. Alright, man. Just for you, Chelsea. Why does it say patience anyways? What is that to you? That's a good question. Now that I think about it, I really don't know why she gave me a patience bracelet. Maybe she wanted me to be patient with her? Or maybe she wanted me to know that you need to be patient in life, through all of its toughest battles. But I really think she gave it to me because I meant something to her. I really hope I did. The moments we experience and the people we share these times with define our lives. How many roads you travel? How many dreams you chase? Across sand and sky. The amount of different paths each of us take make up the variety of ways humans impact the world. I look back and smile.
Maybe high school is my preparation to be an adult. That's why we graduate. It's like one huge course created to move on to bigger and better things. It's a four year initiation that we all have to go through. It's time. And you can bet I'm not looking back. Welcome to the real world, she said to me, kind of something late. Take a seat, take your life, plot it out in black and white. Well, I never lived the dream of a prime. Case and the drama queens, I'd like to think.